for you just to uh, give you some ideas um, how, how things I like to do to prevent being stacked um, in the triangle when I shoot for uh, triangle attacks um, and then how to defend it if he, if he does stack me. A lot of this you guys may know already. If it is, you know, no problem. Hopefully there's a, a couple details here and there that, that maybe you haven't seen before. So initially, especially against big strong guys, big shoulders, big legs, everything like that, um, I, I'm definitely, uh, even though I have kind of long skinny legs that you think, you know, triangles are good for, I'm still cautious in particular about uh, when and how I shoot for the triangle. I don't just shoot, uh, you know, recklessly uh, because I, I, I hate getting smashed on the bottom. I hate having my guard passed. I, I, I'm very careful about it. One particular way to set up the triangle that works really well against big, strong guys, uh, it's very methodical, it's very safe, um, is something I want to show first. Um, you can make this work without the gi, it's just a little bit uh, more slippery, it's a little bit harder. With the gi, it's a very uh, uh, tight finish. So I'm going to start, uh, close guard, but I'm going to open. When I open, shifting, bringing my knees in, coming my feet on the hips, pressing and pulling, making sure I have good control here. Okay. From here, when I shoot for the triangle, uh, a lot of the times people might come in here and they shoot straight up over the neck and start trying to, to grab here and trying to pull in. Because uh, I have this distance, a lot of the time, big guy, big shoulders and everything, he's immediately going to posture and start smashing. Right? right? And I miss. Okay? I don't want to give him that chance of doing that. So what I'm going to do from here, I open, come inside. I'm just going to bring this foot in, and I'm going to shoot and reclose over his bicep. Okay? I'm not going to try to go this high. Okay? When I try to go this high with this angle, ah, I give him the pass. So I go over the bicep, reclose my guard, maintain my grips, clamping very tightly with, uh, with my legs here. Okay? He doesn't feel threatened uh, much here at all. Okay? That's, that's just fine. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to try to feel where his posture is. Okay, now I'm going to come and I'm going to try to break his posture down here. Okay, I could grip. I want to uh, break his posture down. Sometimes you can do it just with your legs here, right? Maybe against the better guy, I'm going to have to work to try to strip his grip, come up here, break the posture. Now that I have the posture broken, now I'm going to go for my triangle attack. I'm going to open my guard. My left foot is going to step on his hip, keeping his head down. I walk back away. Now, boom, here, this night angle, nice angle. Control, over, here. Okay, now I can shift his arm, get my angle, and finish the triangle that way. So never giving him that, that opportunity to posture and smash right off the beginning prevents uh, a, lot of, a lot of bad things. And what you can do, let's say, let's say I, I get to this position where I'm locked up here, right? And I start working for the triangle. I start going, he postures, right? And starts to start to smash. Instead of insisting and trying to get it and really trying to get this lock when I don't have it, boom. So I bring this leg back from here, back down to this arm. If he gets his arm across my center line, done, okay? But if I come here and I swing it back out, I just come back to where I was, and right? I didn't lose anything, right? Worst case scenario, he pulls his arm out. Ugh. Back to close guard, no problem. I didn't lose anything, he had to defend. Uh, I didn't give anything up here, okay? One more time here, here. Feet on the hips, pressure, push and pull. I'm gonna shoot whenever I feel the opportunity. Bang, over, and see how I turn my, my back down to the mat here. It's already starting to break his posture up. Knees to my chest, I can come up and hug. I'm going to wiggle, foot on the hip, I shoulder walk back, right? I want a 90 degree angle between my leg and my torso here, like this. If he breaks this angle, come forward here, uh, see how he broke this, it's like 45 degrees now, no triangle now, I'm getting stacked, I'm getting smashed here, right? So if he's crushing forward, I have to shoulder walk back, this foot on the hip helps a lot. Get my angle, the bigger the guy is, the more I have to be off to the side here like this. Okay, you can put the foot on the ground if you need to, but I have to be pinching tight with this knee here so he doesn't get the arm out, right? I'm locking, I can underhook the arm, underhook the leg, right, and come like this. Let's back up just a little. Okay, so 
that's uh, a way I really like against big guys that I want to play conservatively against. That I'm like, man, if I, this guy passes my guard, I'm in trouble. That's how I shoot a, a lot of triangle attacks and uh, and um, have a pretty good success rate with them. Um, now let's say I, I get into the triangle. However, it could be the same way. Whatever. Oh, here, here. I'm working it, and he stands up, right here like this. And go ahead. Yeah. Now he's starting to stack, right? Okay. There's two ways you could go here. Okay. The first way a lot of guys are trying to do, they'll take the the, the, the arm that is uh, free, that's not inside the triangle. They will turn this uh, this take this one, bring it across here, and turn. And he'll walk this way. Turn. Boom and just shrug it off, okay? I call this the bully pass. I used to train with a really big, strong guy. He, he wasn't a bully, he was a nice guy, <laughs> but he was, he was like wrestling with a gorilla. And every time I tried to triangle him, he would big right up, run, he'd just run me over like that, okay? It took me a long time to figure out how to defend it. When I come here, and I'm working my triangle, right, he starts to try to reach, reach that arm across and go, huh. I never let him bring that arm across. As soon as his hand crosses my center line, I'm in trouble, right? So here, this is why I like a lot of the times this double sleeve control. Oh, oh, here, look at me, I'm stiff arming. His arm out here, he keeps trying to turn. I keep shoulder walking backwards. The base just drops right out from under him here. And now I'm gonna adjust. Boom, here we go. But that, that sleeve control or with Nogi, that wrist control to prevent him from crossing the center line um, is, is crucial. That, that can really help you on uh, double under passes or, uh, or leg, you know, single leg on shoulder passes as well as a triangle. Last way, uh, well, uh, second to last, let's say we're here, got the triangle here like this, he stands up, okay? Again, like I said, I don't want to uh, let him come here. Um, if, if, he, if he really is starting to, to uh, get that angle, um, yeah, tightly here, I can switch. I can come to the straight arm lock, right? I like the Barry Yoshida way of uh, switching your legs here like this, right, for the arm lock. I can come underneath here. I use this a lot, okay? Wedging my shin up in the armpit. And I use this like an omoplata with the shin here like this, okay? Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not really able to control his posture up and, up and down too much with this leg, but a lot of the times I'll get this and he'll try to keep coming over, right? I switch. My grips and I sweep them over with the omoplata type like this. Look at that one more time. Here, so I have triangle, he stands right, he comes in here. I just want this space right here. I just drop my shin in before he really smashes me. I switch my grips, okay? So I'm coming here and I'm just waiting for this leg to try to step over my head and I grab it. When I underhook it like this, he can't go any farther with it. I come up here for the sweep. Last thing, and I think this is how you were saying um, you were getting uh, uh, stacked here. Here, here, oh, coming in here. So now this time, instead of coming around with this arm here, he comes with the other arm. A lot of times you have to grab the collar, push it across the throat, he pulls my belt, he jacks me up here like this, and he walks this way. No, it's perfect. Yes. And he passes. If I let him get deep on that, uh, it, it's very difficult. It's a very good uh, counter if he does it technically correctly. Right? So, triangle. He comes up right away. I'm going to address this arm on, on, my, on my neck. Okay? Once again, the farther past the center line he gets, ah, the worse it is for me. Okay? So, I'm going to come one, two, lift my hips and pull it back so it's on this side of my body again, okay? I can address this grip if it's giving me problems, but the thing that's going to stop me, like right here, we're just battling arms for arms, right here like this. I've got a little bit of hips in it, but what's gonna give him power is he pushes here and he walks this way. Good, right? So I gotta stop him from walking. So I go one, two, here, all right? Now he can't walk on me. Now I can shoulder walk backwards. Now I can come back to the good side where I want here, here, whichever kind of finish. Um, so a lot of different variables, obviously, 
And I, I definitely uh, agree, you know, that, that when you get those big, strong, muscular guys with the big shoulders and heads and arms, it, it definitely makes shooting the triangles uh, a riskier endeavor. But uh, you can still do it as long as you uh, have you know, your mechanics are there, you've got the counters for the counters in place, um, and you just got to you just have to be selective. You know, you know there's times to, to shoot it and, and ah, I'm going to get it, I'm going to go for it. And there's time to say, oh, I'm close, but no, I'm not going to insist. I'm going to open it back up, get back, get my open guard back, go back to a safe reference point, um, and, and uh, hopefully a couple things here uh, will will help out.